Welcome back to IBM Automation Workstream Services, your no-code solution to automate everyday tasks. In this demo, we'll configure a workstream to submit an office floor plan document for approval. Paul, an office planner in the facilities department, needs his manager's approval on a redesigned office space that meets the company's latest social distancing and safety procedures. Let's get started. Paul logs into Workplace, where he can start and participate in Workstreams. He starts configuring a new Workstream for his approval request. The intuitive UI prompts Paul to make choices and fill in data as he progresses through the Workstream configuration. He adds an approval activity to his Workstream, then gives the Workstream a name and enters an optional description. He names the activity. Now when the workstream runs, the approver receives a task with the same name. Then Paul adds some instructions. He uploads the document to be approved and adds some relevant informational items, such as the address of the redesigned office, which is displayed as a multi-line text, the date by which the floor plan should be implemented in date format, and lastly, some additional comments as a multi-line text. This is all useful information that helps the approver make the decision to approve or reject the request. Then Paul sets a due date for the activity. Next, he adds Ed, his manager, to be the approver of the request and adds his name to the approver's list. Paul reviews the Workstream summary to ensure the configuration is correct. He chooses to be notified when the work for the Workstream is complete. Paul is now ready to run his Workstream. But just before that, he fills in some read-only information that will be shown to the approver. The address of the redesigned office, the implementation due date, and some additional comments around the return to office strategy. Now Paul can run the workstream to kick off the approval. Ed, the assigned approver, will receive an approval task from Paul. Let's switch over to Ed, the manager, who finds the approval request task that Paul assigned to him in his My Work list. Ed opens the task to see what needs to be approved and for whom. Check it out, an approval request from Paul for a new office floor plan. Ed can see the address of the redesigned office, the date for completing the implementation, and the additional comments. Then he opens the attached document and reviews the floor plan. All looks good. So, he approves Paul's request. Well done, Paul. Now let's switch back to Paul. He checks the status of his approval request. Now, because he chose to be notified when the work is complete, he sees a completion notification task under My Work. He opens it up, sees the status at a quick glance, then closes the notification. To get a better view of the approval, Paul goes to My Work Streams, looks for the completed instances, and opens it. He sees that the work stream is now complete. His request is approved. He reviews the breakdown of the approval, the approved document, the additional data, the approval outcome, and the approver's comments, all in one convenient place. That's all there is to it, a document approval, which we configured, started, and completed. Bye for now.